What's up, everybody? I came live because we had an NL West hit pack sale. up Mitch on the garbage pail peeping Tom dry guy caddy Kathy I wonder if the other one's Chatty Kathy. We're losing faith. Matt Rat. Guys, it did come live as we did have a hit pack sale. We're going to be opening up an NL, East, uh, NL West hit pack. I'm just sleeving up some Garbage Pell Kids I got a lot a while ago. These are pretty disturbing. I remember buying these as a kid. Telling Large Mard sent you. Do I not have chat on? Yeah, I'm connected to chat. Green Dean, not in the best condition. Oh, here's a classic garbage pail kid. Joe Blow, not in the best of conditions. That is a first series garbage pail kit, I believe. Phony Lisa. <clears throat> Alice Island. Some of these in PSA 10s can go for thousands of dollars, especially in the first series. J Decay, so look out for these in garage sales and flea markets. Bugged Bert. Liberty Libby. Lukewarm. Beth Death. I think these are later series. Traveling Travis. Hunted Hunter. And these were disturbing for 1985. Mad Max. Alien Ian. I think the most valuable there is the mixed up Mitch because I believe that is first series. I could be wrong. The Joe Blows first series, but it is in terrible condition. <laughs> Thin Lynn might be first series. <clears throat> New Wave Dave, I know his first series. That's not terrible condition. Little OC there. Uh, 
What's up, Cartridge Chris? Cartridge Chris got an NL West hit pack. And there's only 14 left, I think. And he is looking for a star in the back where he will have a choice between any of these cads. If there's a star in the back of the pack. Here we go. Here's what's left in NL West. NL West is still $30, guys. We have number 5, 6, 10, 11, 15, 16, 20, 21. 21 is a number available. 31, 32, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Unless I missed a number there. Guys, we do have the brand new NL East pack. They are 35. We are sold out of ALS. We are sold out of NL Central. We do have AL Central and AL East coming as early as this weekend. Again, on the NL West, there are three stars remaining. First one to hit it gets their choice of one of these cats, plus everything in the back. Oh, he's going for two! A twofer! Okay, that's illegal in 48 states. Okay, here we go, number five and 21. <clears throat> five right on top, and 21. Which, when I did my inventory this week, I realized it was an available number. There we go, number 21. All right. Here we go. Let's check for stars. If there's a star on the back of either one, you'll have next pick. You already got that one of one, Cueto. Here we go. One, two, three. There is not a star on the back of number five. Here we go, number 21. Looking for a star here. One, two, three. Oh, there is a star. Boom, boom, boom. So right off the bat, card chart, Chris, you do get your choice of that next guy. I think the best one's being that Gavin Lux on card Bowman Chrome Rookie or the Fernando Tatis Jr. Game Relic, Game Used Relic, or the Fernando Tatis Jr. 85 Mojo. I'm assuming you're going to take the Gavin Lux, but let me know what you want. And he gets everything in the packs as well. Locks, definitely that locks. That is an on card rookie Bowman Chrome of Gavin Lux. Centering looks yeah, pretty good. Maybe, maybe tiny, 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 tiny bit off the super nitpick, but looks pretty good to the naked eye. So that is yours no matter what happens. All right, here we go. Going five and 21. Let's go 21 since you got the style on that one. Doesn't feel like a PSA card. Not many PSA cards left, but plenty of great stuff in the NL West. And already got yourself a Lux, which probably takes care of at least one of the packs on its own. All right, here we go. Let's go with the Penny Sleeve cards. And we have a Manny Machado Red opening day. I believe that's a hobby exclusive. Fernando Tatis Jr. back from the 10-day DL. Hit a home run the other night. Here you go. Fernando Tatis Jr., gold cup cad. David Price on the baseball's finest. Mookie Betts on the 85. Either silver pack or retail mojo. I'm not quite sure. Either way, nice cad. Bruce Dargradoval, rookie. Grant Little. Bowman Prospect, first Bowman Chrome, Joey Cantillo, first Bowman, Drew Romo, no relation to Tony, at least I don't think so, uh, Kataya, Diego Kataya, Bowman Chrome Prospect for the Dodgers, I'm not familiar with him, there's a Kiebert Ruiz, Bowman Chrome Prospect, Dustin May, Bowman Chrome Prospect on the 2019, Andreas Munez rookie, Mikel Baez rookie, Nunez rookie, how about a Heinemann rookie, a Green rookie, a Sepia of Archie Bradley, and an 85 rookie of Josh Rojas, 85 design. <clears throat> All right, let's see what your top loaded cards are. Again, guys, after card chart, Chris packs are available. $30 for NL West, $35 for the brand new NL East. And uh, 
Shipping is extra. All right, here we go. Pack number five. Let's see what we got. Oh, I didn't open the top loaded cards. Duh. All right, let's open the top loaded cards. Here we go. We have well, a couple penny sleeved ones here. Domingo Leyva, Luis Urias rookie, CJ Abrams on the Bowman Chrome, Mauricio Dubon. How about a Mookie Betts Prism? Tops Chrome. Gavin Lux rookie. Got a backwards card here. Jalen Davis to 75. Very nice. Is it a just a serial number card? Is it a relic? Is it an autograph? Is it both? It is an autograph of Jalen Davis to 75 on from Panini Chronicles Obsidian rookie Jalen Davis autograph and to only 75 in the world. And behind that is a Gavin Lux Tops Chrome and you got the autograph now as well. Very nice. All right, that's pack one. Well, pack one of two. Pack number five. Here's the second pack. There we go. We have Derek Rodriguez, Foil, Sandy Koufax. What's up, Charlie? Uh, Corey Seager on the Ben Bowler. Here's another Prism card of Manny Margot. There's a Fernando Tatis Jr., another Fernando Tatis Jr., Josh Rojas Prism Rookie. There's a Jonathan Daza Silver Rookie, uh, Taylor Trammell, Cody Hose, Gratterall Rookie, Gonsolin Rookie, Dustin May Rookie. Is that the Throwback Thursday? No, that's from Archives, I believe. Heinemann Rookie, Wong Rookie, Breen Rookie, Munez Top Scrum Rookie, and Zach Gallen Top Scrum Rookie. Hey, you got... $10 break credit in this pack as well. There you go. $10 break credit is yours. And let's see what's in your top loaded guides. Now these do have to be used on a break. They can't be used on the pack. Uh, but it can be used on any break. CJ Abrams... Luis Patino. Here we have the Kieber Ruiz Mojo. Uh, Sam Hilliard Rookie Card Tops Chrome. Got a Domingo Leyva Select. And a Gavin Lux Rookie Card. Rookie Debut. And that $10 break credit. So congratulations on that. And of course, getting that Gavin Lux on card rookie autograph and don't forget you get two of these packs with it as well there you go card shark chris congratulations on all that and getting that gavin lux on card autograph <clears throat> guys we do have nl west hit packs for thirty dollars nl east brand new nl east for 35 and then shipping is extra. If you get an NL West, there's two more stars left. The big cards were taken, but if you get a star on the NL West, you do get an extra card as well. Two Fernando Tatis Jr. cards there. NL East has some ridiculous stuff, guys. There's a little less cards in there, and the like a base pack is probably... Uh, a little worse than some of the packs you're used to seeing, but there are some huge hits in NL East. NL East has a 2019 Top Chrome Sapphire Jeff McNeil PSA 10. Last sold for $175 from a $35 pack. There is a Bryce Harper uh, token relic. Uh, only five made. It's number one out of five. Uh, none of them have come up for sale, but comps are around the 150 to 100, 150 to 220 range for that token relic. There is a Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, 2018 Tops update, 
update bats bat up PSA 9 there is this CAD in a PSA 9 2009 oh see, I'm pointing to the nothingness there's a one of these in a PSA 9 the 2019 Pete Alonzo rookie PSA 9 um what other big big CADs out there there's a Sixto Sanchez worth uh again the comps are kind of hard on some of these because they're so rare but there's Sixto Sanchez PSA 10 rookie auto to 50 I believe comp about $200 roughly and other great hits in N L East Let's do it. Going for the NL East, Card Shark. All right, Card Shark Chris is going to go for an NL East. He got one pack before, and he got himself a 2019 Optic Blue, Pete Alonzo, and a Victor Robles. I think it was a Victor Robles rookie. All right, let me get out the uh, sheet. I need to make a newer sheet, but here we go. 50 packs. The only one taken so far was number 13. You guys, I can mail these sealed if you wish too. I just like to do them not live so that we can see the hits that I promised. I'm always sometimes wary of these uh, hit packs offering these big hits and I never tend to see them. <laughs> I like showing you guys that this stuff, whatever I say is in there, is in there. Number one, here we go. Number one. And number one is across the room. I'll just, not that you guys don't trust me, but just to show everything's on the, I'll just bring the whole camera with me. Show everything's on the up and up. Let's go travel across the room and get number one. Should be the first one here. And there we go, number one. Looks very thick, whatever it is. Again, I have no clue what numbers are good, guys. Which is the way I like it. Alright, going for number one. Here we go. Now, the NL East, guys, just to let you know, do not have one of these packs. They do have a pack like this inside, which I do not open live unless we have, you know, extra time. There it is. For some reason, there is a lot of stuff in here. Let's see what you got on number one on the NL East. All right. Well, you got a slab, but it is the one non-PSA slab. There's one non-PSA slab, and that's what you got. So let's go to that first, since it's not a huge slab. You've got a 2019 Tops opening day, Brandon Nimmo Purple, BCCG10. Not a huge slab, but still, a Nimmo is batting over 400 this year, so that is a BCCG10 on the Nimmo. That is Beckett. Congratulations on that. And you got, so let's see, some top-loaded cards here. You got two things of... And nothing left in the pack there, but all kinds of goodies in here. Oh, this is the uh, this is the pack of uh, mostly commons, but it's not like all direct commons. This I won't open up on screen unless uh, you know there's no other orders. Here we go. Nimmo batting well over 400 this year for the New York Mets. That might turn into a very big cad someday. Here we go. Soto. On the National Baseball Card Day, every single pack in the NL East has some sort of Soto, Acuna, Harper, and Alonzo in some form. And yes, there are some rookies and some autographs in those forms. Bryce Harper Optic and uh, uh, Alonzo on the Optic, which probably tells us there's no big cut of those four. Uh, as you already did get a slab. So let's check out whatever, what else you have. You have Hernandez on the Silver. Freddie Freeman, last year's MVP, and that is on the premier, the premier level. 
There we go. Foil of Miguel Rojas. There's an Acuna Jr. on the 1985. Very nice on the Acuna. Do you like jazz in the form of Chisholm? Chisholm? Uh, that's his Bowman Chrome prospect. Drew Mendoza, Bowman Chrome prospect. Ronnie Mauricio, number one prospect for the Mets. Bryce Wilson, foil rookie for the Braves. And a Yamamoto, Tops Chrome. Let's see in your top loaded guides. All right, we have a Christian Pache, Bowman Chrome prospect right on top there. Oh, okay, I'll show everything, cool. Yeah, because we're not busy right now anyway. Tops Chrome, Gold Cup Cad of Pete Alonzo. How about this guy is on absolute fire. ERA less than one, Jacob DeGrom, Tops Chrome Prism. Uh, looks like an old, like, 2015 Tops. Young and... Re Who is that? Is that, uh, Matt Harvey and DeGrom, maybe? Who is that? Yeah, that's exactly who it is. Jacob DeGrom and Matt Harvey, and that is to 2015. 2015 Tops. Brian Anderson stars on the Diamond King. Eisen Diaz, rookie card, Bowman Sterling, and a mythical Ronald Acuna Jr. And, of course, you did hit that lower end, but still nice slab there. That is the only non-PSA slab. I believe every other slab is PSA 9 and 10, if I remember correctly. So there you go. And let's show you guys, um, since we have some time, what else you get with this. All right, now in the last one, you guys all got one of these in your envelope. In this one, they are included right in the envelope. Helps me a little bit. And uh, these are mostly considered quote-unquote commons throw-ins, but let's see what we have. Freeman, last year's MVP. Ozzy Albies, I mean, these are still good names. Dansby Swanson, Topps Chrome. Travis Darno, uh, Camargo, Sean Newcomb, Mike Folowitz. Hamels, Braves. I mean, these are in teams, uh, too. Soraka. Uh, now we're on to the Mets, I believe. Top's finest of Jacob deGrom. Top's finest of Thor. Noah Syndergaard. Uh, Marcus Stroman, who's having a nice year as well, pitching. Edwin Diaz. Uh, Ahmed Rosario. Uh, Wilson Ramos, now with the Tigers, leading the league in homers, at least as of a couple days ago. Dunross Opti uh, Optic? Yeah, it looks like an optic of Keith Hernandez. Jeff McNeil, Topps Chrome, Future Stars, Victor Robles. I mean, this feels like a pack. This doesn't feel like commons. Carter Kibu, opening day. Uh, Gomes. We have Suzuki. We have a class one, Steven Strasburg. Patrick Corbin on the big league. Revved up, Washington Nationals. We're on to the Marlins now. Sandy Alcantara. We got Harold Ramirez on the Topps Chrome. Giancarlo Stanton, when he was with the Miami Marlins. Uh, Aguilar Marlins, Phillies, Ryan Howard. I got to see him play with the Lakewood Blue Claws here in New Jersey. Uh, Segura, Neeris, we're on the Phillies cards here. Zach Wheeler and Reese Hoskins. There you go. That is the quote-unquote common pack that every pack has. But as you can see, there's still some decent stuff in there. So there's probably, what, about 30 cads in that. And probably about 10, 15 cads in there. And then you do have a chance at big rookies, slabs. Like I said, there's quite a few cads pushing well over $100. So you probably have about a 20% chance of hitting something over $100 per pack. But there you go. And the only non-PSA slab we have of Brandon Nimmo, but he is betting 400 And that is a purple parallel as well. There you go, Carchar Chris. Thank you very much. Guys, that is one NL East pack. All those cards. And again, you have shots at all those big cards. Again, that's why I like to open up this stuff live. So when I say there is a huge card in there, it really is one of the packs. And we will really see these cards coming out of the packs.
NLS, here we go. NL West. Here we go. This is what we have left in NL West. And again, if you get a style, the next best card is the Fernando Tatis Jr. Game Used Relic. We have number 6, 10, 11, 15, 16, 20, 31, 32, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Not many NL West left, guys. I don't know exactly how many slabs are. I definitely felt at least one left. But still plenty of great stuff as it is. Surprises, killer stuff. 31. Here we go on number 31 in the NL West. 31 right on top here. Here we go. Let's check for a star. Doesn't feel like a PSA, but let's check for a star. One, two, three. Unfortunately, not a star, but you did get the two best starred ones already. The one-on-one -on -one Johnny Cueto and the Gavin Lux Auto. Here we go. Number 31. The penny sleeves. Got a Fernando Tatis Jr. Prism. Right on top. Tatis Jr. Prism. Tatis Jr. National Baseball Card Day. Nolan Arenado on the red exclusive opening day. Foil of Hermain Marquez. Will Smith. Bowman Platinum. I think that would be technically his rookie in that. Franchise future stars. Robert Hassel, who's the first round pick of the Padres. And Justin Lange. Got a rookie of... Jonathan Daza, Jonathan Daza. There's the Morahan on the tie dye rookie. Gonsolin rookie. Gray Bowman prospect. Gallon, Allen and Ginter rookie. Opening day, Munez rookie. Brain rookie again. Jalen Davis on the top holiday. Rookie of Edwin Rios. Gonsolin, Bowman Chrome prospect. Christian Robinson, Arizona Diamondbacks rookie. I know he's in the top 100 of prospects. Alex Young, uh, Topps Chrome rookie. Morahan, Topps Chrome. And Dustin May, Topps Chrome. Let's see your top loaded cads. Sam Hilliard rookie in there. Trent Grisham, Topps Chrome rookie cad. Gavin Lux. Rookie. Oh, and you have a Hall of Fame autograph coming up. How about Steve? I think he's in the Hall of Fame, right? Steve Garvey. Is he a Hall of Famer? I keep forgetting. Steve Garvey autograph. I believe Hall of Famer. Steve Garvey autograph from Tops. There you go. And a Gavin Lux 2019 Mojo Bowman Chrome Prospect again. And there you go. Steve Harvey autograph. Guys, is he a Hall of Famer or not? I keep forgetting. Steve. And he's a Michigan. He is a Michigan State Spartan. There you go. And I believe Hall of Famer. But don't quote me on that. On a Steve Garvey autograph. Centering on that is perfect from what I see, too. As uh, a lot of these autographs are very off-center, but that one looks pretty darn good. Not a Hall of Famer. Okay, but it is a Steve Garvey autograph nonetheless. Maybe he'll get in on the Veterans Committee. There you go. Card Chart Chris. Appreciate it very much. And, of course, you will get a little bonus pack with that as well on the NL West. What are his numbers? What is he, like a 280 hitter with what? 320 home runs type of guy? 
I don't really remember. I'm co I think I'm confusing him with someone in my head. Who am I thinking of? Maybe I am thinking of Steve Garvey. You got it, Cartridge Kids. Appreciate it very much. Guys, go to Cartridge Chris's YouTube channel and give it a sub. Cartridge Chris on YouTube. Uh, sometime in the next couple days, he will be opening up a. Uh, RTS Sports Cards Patreon box. So you guys can see what a $50 Patreon box looks like as well on uh, his channel. So go over and give him a sub. Someone just sent me a picture. They got a uh, Carlson... Rookie, Dylan Carlson, rookie from the $50 Patreon Dunross pack. Got a uh, Dylan Carlson rookie autograph, I believe, to 50. Garvey was a 10-time All-Star, most valuable player, four-time Gold Glove winner, two-time All-Star game MVP, and two-time MVP of the National League Championship Series. Sounds like a Hall of Famer to me. All right, guys, we're getting the, down to the nitty-gritty on NL West. Uh, that's all the packs we have left in NL West. We're sold out of NL Central, sold out of AL West. And uh, the two big cards were hit, the Gavin Lux Auto and the one-of-one one, um, Johnny Cueto. But if you do get a star on your next pack, you will get a game-used relic of Fernando Tatis Jr. as just an added throw-in. Just probably, I don't know, maybe a $10 card in itself. You guys, remember NL East now available I'm very excited to see someone pull one of those big, big cads in the NL East. Yeah, imagine Garvey's going to get in eventually. Like, I think... Uh, Steroids and all, I think uh, Clemens will get in, not by vote, but through the Veterans Committee. You got to imagine Don Mattingly will get in that way, too. Unless he takes a team or two uh, to the World Series... And wins it in the next maybe five years. Then he'll maybe he'll get in. Can they do? Is it combined career between manager and player, or uh, or do they have to be separate? Because if you combined manager and playing time, I mean, Manningley's in for sure. I think the way with gambling, I personally think Pete Rose should be in. I personally think he should be. I mean, there's three three confirmed football players on the top of my head. Three confirmed football players that were proven to gamble on NFL games and or college. Proven that they bet and they are in the NFL Hall of Fame. I know it's a completely different sport, but if they were forgiven, what's the difference? Who were they? They were like three Notre Dame guys. It was, um... Oh, jeez. They were like running backs from Notre Dame. I can't remember the names. Off the top of my head. It's really sad. I saw a video on, um... What was it, uh... 
Why could I think of the YouTube channel's name? I watch it all the time. Chris Cards. Chris Cards uh, went to Las Vegas and um, got an autograph from Pete Rose and he filmed it. And uh, it was just so sad. Uh, Pete Rose walking away after a day of signing, barely able to walk, gave his life to the game, and not in the Hall of Fame. To be honest, if he bet against his own team and threw a game, it's obviously a lot more travesty. It makes him a human being with a problem. But I don't know. I personally think it should be separated. Was he worth? Was his playing worthy? But yeah, he wasn't found guilty of that in the first place. But I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe I'd go against what I just said. I don't know. Alright guys, I'll stay on a few more minutes if anyone is interested in the hit packs. But we have those brand new NL East hit packs. Big Met Chase Cads in there. At least one big Marlin that I could think of. At least one big Philly that I could think of. Yeah, because states realize they can make so much money on it and then just waste that money. <laughs> New Jersey, we've had gambling since like 1970-something. And we have, don't quote me on this, but we have either the highest or one of the highest toll roads in the nation. We have tolls on our parkway. We have tolls on our turnpike. We have tolls to get on an exit. We have tolls to get off an exit. And we're supposed to be getting all this money from Atlantic City. It's just... It, governments are just going to overspend money no matter how much money they take in. I almost feel like, not to get into politics, but I almost feel like a politician should be like a businessman. He should have to have a, like a business degree if he's going to run the, you know? I mean, I know they have their, uh, I know they have their advisors and stuff, but uh, I almost feel like you should, you should be a businessman to, to, to run a, a country or a state because all that money just seems to always go missing. I mean, that's always going to happen, but. Or you know what? You know what I you know what would be interesting? You don't have a president. You have a guy that has a job to run the finance. Take it all out. <laughs> the country just has to like uh I don't know, I guess that's like the same thing. Never mind. I just invented I invented the idea of <laughs> voting in a president. I was going to say, maybe it was just a government job you get hired to do, like run the finance, run the books. Which probably exists, right? Treasury. All right, guys. Hit packs are available. I am itching, itching for someone to pull one of those big, big cads of the, out of the NL East. For a $35 uh, hit pack, you can pull many cards. 
well over $120, $150, even $175 in some situations. Like I said, I don't know. Some are so rare I couldn't really get direct comps, but some of these cads are probably worth over $200. Again, say strange situations where I feel like I want to buy my own stuff sometimes. <laughs> I want to buy my own hip bag. Doesn't make sense, but. I have looked into crypto. I had a little bit of money in it, but I just have so much money tied up in the business that I just have to take everything out. Let's open up one of these Mississippi packs while we're here. Actually, you know, it's uh, kind of cool. I saw uh, Hotbox cards on his channel. He had his son open up one of those Lion King packs. That he wanted an extra and they hit a film cell in their Lion King pack. It was a really thick cut of a film cell from the Lion King. I, oh, and by the way, someone, who was it? I think uh, Sean P. sent me a picture. They found a relic of uh, some football player in the Mississippi packs. And he found an Eli Manning and Archie Manning. Peyton went to Tennessee, though. All right, let's see what we get in Mississippi pack. Dante Moncrief. And the Old Miss Rebels. The Pavilion. All sports being recognized in these packs. Alarmy Tunsil, who had himself a very strange draft night. Someone leaked a photograph of him smoking weed and he dropped from an early round pick to, I guess it was like 22 or 25. There's Tunsil again. There's Dexter McCluster. Is he still playing? Uh, Fortnite trading cards? No, I did not r realize Fortnite trading cards were doing well. Chris Coughlin... Is he related to Tom, the uh, coach of the Giants and the Jaguars? Jeremy Parnell. Are Fortnite cads going up now? And Errol Robinson. There you go on the Old Miss Rebels. Finally changing their mascot. To a rebel bear, <laughs> which I think they should have just changed the name altogether because it looks strange now. A rebellious bear is their new mascot. I like the mascot, but I think they just should have changed the whole name. It's a rebellious bear. They were definitely past due to get rid of their mascot, though. There is a Dark Knight Hollow Gem 10 sold for... Wait, what? You're talking about Fortnite trading cards? That's like the only thing I do find at my Walmart. <laughs> and 
happy holiday to everyone that does participate in the 420. Doesn't agree with my system for some reason, but uh, happy holiday to everyone else. Although they did just legalize it in New Jersey. So I might be looking for something to help me sleep. What is going on with um Fortnite trading cards? And what's up with that freaking egg card? I saw a little thing about it, the egg. I don't know. I went through my collection and found some eggs. I think I passed the fad now, though. Dark Knight Crystal Shard. Cracked Ice Raw. Sold for a... What? What is going on? What? You mean I should pick up Fortnite trading cards then? I feel like I'm on a hidden prank show. Like one day we're just going to wake up and everyone's like, <laughs> people playing all this money for pieces of cardboard. Two thousand nineteen. Guys, we do have the brand new NL East hit packs. And I should have AL East and AL Central soon. Hey, what's up, George? How's it going, man? Hey guys, we have the brand new NL East. And we still have some NL West as well. Well, it's inevitable. They're going to... Coming from a guy that's got a lot of his net worth into <laughs> baseball cards right now, but uh, inevitable we're going to have a bubble. I don't think it's anytime soon, but um, the I don't think Tops did a great number job with the production numbers. I think they got greedy, and uh, I mean, I think it's inevitable we're going to have a bubble within a few, I think in like three years. As much as I, I don't like that Vegas Dave guy, he keeps saying we're going to have a bubble in about three years. I kind of tend to agree with him. But I do think um, the biggest of the big CADs and serial number CADs are all going to hold at least most of their value. You got to think graded CADs, serial number CADs. You know, something to 50 is always going to be something to 50. Kevin Alcantara, first Bowman, first edition gold to 50. I am not familiar with him, to be honest. Is that Sandy's brother?
All right, guys, last call on the hit packs for tonight. Last call on the hit packs for tonight. We do have NL uh, West to left, a couple of them. I think about 12 packs of NL West. And again, if you hit a one with a star on the back, you're going to get a, a game used relic of Fernando Tatis Jr. on the NL West. They are $30 plus shipping. Uh, NL East are brand new and they are 35 plus shipping. Again, plenty of huge, huge hits in the NL East. Much bigger than any of the divisions before that. But that does make some of the base packs a little less than the others. I imagine on those Bowman draft guys... You either should sell now, like now now, while that is a brand new set still and it's hot, or hold it and ride with it because he's going to, you know, once the set goes away and peop his name starts going out and he sticks in the minors for a couple years, it's going to go down, 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 down until he gets to the majors. So it's either like sell now while it's high or ride it out till it gets back up. Yeah, these prospect ads are, are out of control. I mean, like Jason Dominguez, is he going to have a good career? Probably. Why is he selling for the cost of like some guy that played for 20 years and hit 500 homers? <laughs> Why is he selling for the same cost as that? It doesn't make any sense. I understand the hype, I don't understand the pricing. I don't understand why there's so much. I uh I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Hey guys, last call on hitbacks for tonight. Brand new NL East. Lots of great cards from the Marlins, Braves, Nationals, Phillies, and Mets. And the NL West. Still have a few of them. Very Dodger heavy, I'll be honest. But it does have some Padres. Uh... My brain's going blank, plus I'm not good with divisions. Who are the other guys? Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks, Padres, Dodgers, and uh, everyone else in the NL West. Yeah, they're always thinking. I mean, I understand some of the production numbers are less. Like, all right, if you get a Dominguez to, like, 50, obviously they didn't make, say, George Brett cads to 50, except for modern stuff. So I understand some stuff's going to be less, but production-wise, but I don't know. It's weird how the market's controlled. It's just like, I don't know. I just don't get some of it.
like why some players sell for so much. I understand the market wants home run hitters. They want young guys. They want exciting guys. But then, like, um, who's that guy on the White Sox I always talk about with the Tim Anderson? Why Tim Anderson's like leads the league in batting average almost every year lately, and his cards are like commons. Or even DJ LeMahieu, like, his cards don't go for much. He leads the league in batting average almost every year, too. And then uh, Yerman Mercedes, or however you say his name, is it Yerman Mercedes? Yerman Mercedes has a couple good games, and his cards are selling, like... <laughs> High hundreds. You know, I ordered three Mercedes Tops Now cards, and the seller canceled the order, of course. I bought the cards for like. Two, three dollars a piece, and then now they're worth like 20 a piece. And of course, the seller canceled the order. Yep. All cards going out of control. And guys, if anyone's interested, the, uh, Wax warmer NFLs are in for every team. They are officially NFL licensed product and they are now available. I don't think I can buy them from Tops anymore. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for tonight on the Hit Packs. Again, if you're ever itching to see a Hit Pack open, just message me, RTS Sports Guards, on Instagram, Facebook, and eBay. And as long as I am alive and free, we can open up the pack any time of day or night. And usual uh, breaks are open. Ben Baller, Tops Jumbo, Tops Chrome, and Tops Definitive Random Player Break are filling. All should go soon. All right, guys. Appreciate everyone stopping by. Hope everyone has an amazing night. And keep me in mind for any future hit pack needs or box break needs. Thanks for stopping by, guys, and have a great night. Why can I never hit the stop button? Oh, you got to hit that so it pops up. <laughs>